Great accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakespeare. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. R. Drago? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Ah! Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you. We are right here, Colonel. Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal. All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. Make it fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. <laughs> Bring it. What? Strikers, what are they doing here? Directive, lip read. Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours. Blag -a -blag. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let me see. 
a GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Bond push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain. Feelings are cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> Time to blow the lid on your mission. Guys, I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope, he's out cold. Ah! Ah! Dude, you killed him. <gasps> Sorry, cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is he gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? 
or a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift, the world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Targets reacquired. Directive. Libre! Don't worry, the hairdryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! I really hate the loudspeaker. Match day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warming up. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. Frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great! Come on! There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dan I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Hey. Let me And think about it. No. Directive, get that ball. Give it up, man. 
As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. <clears throat> Captain, huh? you're okay. Ah, oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One Tingdo. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Huh? Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? Oh. I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of D Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's going to remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shakes mom. Eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakes mom. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Whoa. As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was it was just Shakespeare! What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Their captain on ice. Super strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Uh, brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure, push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakespeare. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. 
I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> Whoa. Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes! You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargal, blargal. Blah, 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 blah. Yes! Brilliant! Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson! My Technovision glasses! The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. El <laughs> <laughs> Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Uh, oh, uh, I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here. The skunk. Hmm, my glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map Hello? out our defensive response. Tony? We'll expect a tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. <laughs> and we got just the man to make them pay. 
Right, El Matador? Huh? El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. for my first scene. El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. <gasps> Johnson, Jr.? <gasps> what are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador! I was wide open! Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> uh, what reporter, dude? That guy! Right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. <gasps> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama. El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. What else? 
action. Mm. Uh, what you ninjas? What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your boy there will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. The game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, goal-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in Red Hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare! Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! It was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Tony! 
Oh, yes, much better. What have you done? It wasn't me, it was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? What? <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shakes. Uh... I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. You gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> 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 Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, 
Linda. I'll not the doors move today. I'm going straight to the highlights of it. <laughs> How can this day get any worse? That'll do it. Dude, that was like the craziest goal I've ever seen. Yeah, much better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Scores 2-0 to Super Strikers, and Big Bo's had nothing to do all game. Oh! Ah! Ah! Nakama are in Super Strikers' box! Woo! Ah, nothing to get excited about, Brenda. Block is there. But if he doesn't get this tackle right, it's a penalty for sure. for the big man. Fox's the cleanest tackler in the Super League. You rock, Fox! A yeah. Yeah. Right, right on, right. man! Listen up, guys. The Robotics and Football Exhibition is coming up next week. Prof? Oh, uh, well, we thought we'd do something special this year, so I've made a robot. Of one of you. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, hmm. must be cool Joe. He does the best robot. <laughs> it must be me. Why replicate anyone less good looking than the great El Matador? Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Introducing Roblox. Whoa. Tony, why does this tin can get to travel with the team? Cause, unlike you lot, Chip T. Chuckerson is going to win me a prize. The game? Against Super Strikers? Oh. The other difference between Chip and you lot is he can actually learn things. Copy movie star. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Um, I don't understand, Tony. He's gonna win me the robotics and football exhibit. Iron Tank are already the perfect robots. Ow! No foul, Brio. No foul. And the Robotics and Football Grand, Grand Prize goes, goes to... to... Yes? Yes? Roblox! Yeah. What? Look, hmm? a quick interview, perhaps? I can translate if you want. Been learning Brazilian. Tell me about your robot twin. <laughs> Physically, Roblox is a perfect copy of me. How could they give the award to the robotic dimwit? He's just a mindless replica. So, how's his football? <laughs> I don't know. Prof says playing against Roblox would be extremely dangerous because he's all steel and hydraulics. Oh, really? So what will he be doing at Strikerland? Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League's greatest team. Ah, a tour guide. So, who do you predict will win this weekend? Super Strikers or Technicali? I predict Super Strikers will prevail in our next game. Nice. 
Um, I'm only halfway through the Brislovian course, uh, but if you ask me, Lena, I just need to score one goal, and Block will take care of the rest. Not if I take care of Block first. Copy, Block. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I could just figure out how to get your processor into that lumbering pile of nuts and bolts. Stop! First law of robotics, no water. Water will make you malfunction. But you have given me an idea. Technology from previous inventions. For example, I used the analytical algorithm from the magic of Roblox eyes. Water! Get Roblox out of here! Go! Go, Chip! Go! exhibit has been locked down with all robots inside. No, no, no! There was so much he still had to see to do. Sure, that was one awesome robot block, Prof. In hindsight, it would have been difficult to make a robot as good looking as me. This sucks. Schmeigel Fleur. Clear all robot parts. Send those tin cans to the scrapyard. Yes, it worked. And by the time Super Strikers realize they're playing with a robot, half the team will be injured. <laughs> Let's put the robotics exhibit behind us, okay? I don't want it affecting our performance against Technicali. Now, get to it. El Matador? Uh... My preparation will be purely mental, Coach. Reminding myself how awesomely amazing I am. <sighs> hey, Block. I reckon the best practice I can get is against the world's best defender. You. you seem different. I think I'll do some training where I won't end up in hospital. Oh! These super strikers are too fast and skilled to be injured by Roblox. Hmm? But my players aren't. John J. Johnson Jr. Hi, Tony! I've come up with a strategy for you. Great. Let's hear it. Dribbling. Ah, uh, again? I thought the doctor cleared that up. He means dribbling a soccer ball. I want you to dribble straight at block, John J. Johnson, Jr. Isn't that kind of risky? With Roblox on the pitch, there'll be cards for Super Strikers and penalty kicks for Technicali. <sighs> I am Roblox, the robot block. The true legend is over there. Danger! 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 Welcome to Striker Land, home of the Super League Trophy. Let's begin our tour. Circle. Okay, boys, let's call it for today. Be the block. What's up with you? You seem different. Hey, block. You coming? Shirtily lad. 
Something's up with Block. He's playing weird, speaking weird. Shawshanks, dude. It's not like you're an authority on Breslovian. Yeah, brother. Aren't you still learning? <laughs> Cassette tape? Yeah. Latest technology in Breslovia. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbilzerk Glarg Bzork. Yep, I know that one. Next up, Zerk Lagerb Blurgle Strazer. Blurgle Strazer. Hey! <sighs> okay, tape six. Huh? Weird. Where are six to nine? Are you ready for the final level of learned Breslovian? Here we go. Rarl clad Zuzangle crad blook to Rasbroko. Got it. Huh. If my Brazilian isn't dodgy, then what's up with block? Next up, Zorg Lang Berserkle Bar. Oh, tapes! Block the rock! Block! One of our main values at Strike a Land is determination. It's much day in a fight club. No matter where you are, whatever you're doing, it's a fantastic day for a bit of football. Super strikers have been looking good, but Chuck T. Chipperson is in great form. Block will need to be on top of his game, Mac. I'm sure he will be when uh, he's so reliable. Always there when super strikers need him. <laughs> Block, we need to talk. Purgle. Zergle Purple Gerb? The Razzle Grinlock, the Colonel for Boomba. He says he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Wow, Chicks, your Brislovian has really improved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Block, I know something's wrong. Your game, your Brislovian, it's like you're a different person. Pixelblogger, rob the goons. Excuse me? Pixelblogger, rob the goons. Huh? You took my tapes. But why would you need to learn Brislovian? <laughs> because you're not Block. You're Roblox. You can't go out there. You, you can't play. You'll hurt people. Roblox, listen to me! Please remember to look after your belongings during the tour. And last out, last week's man of the match, Block! Oh, no! He's a machine, Brenda. Well, where's Shake? I. Thought we had a first choice 11 on both sides. Klaus, warm up. Eagle Eye, Grizz, get shakes. Oh, uh, what's the strategy again? Uh, you run straight at block. Oh, right. striker to do business with Block. Wow. So unlike Block. Yes! <laughs> I mean, what was that? Whatever happened to fair play? Keep it tidy, Block. Another one, and the card's coming out. Shakes! Shakes! I don't get it. Where did he go? Ha! 
Giant to belligerent brute. <laughs> oh, the ref is reaching into his pocket and it's a yellow card. He's ruining his hard earned reputation in a single game. Please stay near. Do you need the restroom? It's down the stairs, first left, second right, immediate right, and straight ahead. <laughs> Next up, the Strike Alliance Ball. Isn't it total luxury? Well, folks, all good things must come to an end. You want more? Follow me for the final part of our exciting tour. And it gets worse. The big defender. Penalty huh? to technicality. Lock best clean up his act soon, or he'll be sent off. Fasten your seatbelts, because the final stop on our tour is the strike land Garage. Oh! Well, there you have it, Brenda. Technically, go one ahead. All thanks to a surprisingly poor performance from Block. Who would have thought? First, a missing striker. Now, a defender whose brain's gone missing? North! Uh, uh, Shakes? Don't let anyone know I've been here. That's not Block. It's Roblox. Yeah, and I always take advice from dudes hiding in lockers. He put me in here. He finds out you're onto him and you're next. You need to get him out of here. Block, what is wrong with you? It's a blogger. Grab the goo. Oh, I know this one. Block's uh, hitting the showers. Right, Block? Since when do you speak Breslovian? I've been taking night classes. Shh. That isn't Block. It's Roblox. Hmm. Yeah, right. The dangerous tackling, weird Brislovian, cold, steely demeanor? Well, we're about to find out if I'm right. Why is that, Shakes? Robots don't take showers. So if that's Roblox, where's Blow? <laughs> Super Strikers drive only the coolest vehicles. Well, there's our tour guide. Someone switched the robot's processors. Shakes, you were right, dude. But where is Block? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Block! Oh, Block is gone. He says we've got to go on for the second half, or we'll forfeit the game. <laughs> Margul Block. Don't worry. He's got this. Can't wait for him any longer. Huh? huh? They didn't sub him? Looks like your work isn't done, John J. Johnson Jr. Uh, block! You did it! Uh, I think. The second half is about to start, and Super Strikers have a lot of work to do. Well, Coach should have started by subbing Block. He's the reason they're losing. Ooh, Block's gonna 
finish John D. Johnson Jr. once and for all! And get what he deserves, a red car. <laughs> That's more like it! Vintage block! Smooth, slick, and effective! Oh! I'm too clever! My invention has learned to play like the best defender in the league! <laughs> Sorry, Tony, you're wrong. No one can play like the block. Marble Turtle! Marble Blow Turtle! No, no, no! Whatever was troubling Block in the first half is ancient history. Nice one, brother! <laughs> Block, you did it! And where is your very scary twin? But how could a problem? So I'm hanging from Strike the Land, Roblox about to ditch me, when suddenly I remember something. How could we not Block? My new robot friend. And now for the final part of our tour. Ta-da! Be the fly with the clothes. Smiggle flirt. Copy. Probable. Eh, I think Prof should just make a robot that looks like me next time. But how do we know we aren't all robots already? Ow! Oh! as the Grim FC tour bus rock and rolls into town. And part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save, the Ghost Train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the Ghost Train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. The Tactinomicon! <gasps> Could someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kinda... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we gonna need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. <laughs> Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career, just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Spike! I baked you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you backchat me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the goalie cave anytime soon, sir? 
It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me. <laughs> Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Huh? Mom, I'm stuck. Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this fruit of grapes. We'll get you out of there in no time. Quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm, delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. This revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! That's what you think. But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Huh? Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Tectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. 
I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, from the, the Super, Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. Rule 4.73. A Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? What makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Strike Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 doo, doo. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers are gonna need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train. So far. <gasps> Big Bo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. 
Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck, and a bit of help from the Super League rule book. The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Bo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You, you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Uh, don't tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells. Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, what's that? You're on the run from the law? Oh, I'll just let myself in then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy. What? No, no! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack huh? again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those clubs will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bull helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! Uh, the Ghost Train! Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bull misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudel! <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious Strudel! Strudel! Get your heart, Strudel! <gasps> gotcha. Huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train? 
Raid him down. I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. Positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> over Big Bo's gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike, Spike Dawson. Dawson. You did it! Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, this soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Tectonomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Oh, what have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. Hi, guys. Welcome to another Orion Fan Report, live from the Soccer Sphere. We have some pretty tough games coming up. First, Invincible United, then Super Strikers. But as always, in Coach Black we trust. What? What is that? been an alien fighting at a soccer stadium. A close encounter of the first kind. But is it legitimate? Impossible to tell. We need a man on the ground. Anyone know anything about football? Uh, that's the one with the ball, right? I've already identified the perfect candidate. He knows soccer. He has access to the stadium. And most importantly, he's a believer. Klaus, prepare to make contact. We've just witnessed the upset of the season, boys. Orion anticipated Invincible United's every move, predicted their every strategy, and dominated the scoreline. I know how they did it. Coach Black has been getting help from aliens. This uh, again? Klaus. I've watched this clip like 20 times. I'm telling you guys, it's real. There's no such thing as aliens. Those videos are just CGI. <laughs> Klaus has been spending way too much time on the bench, coach. If it isn't aliens, how did Orion know Invincible United's entire game plan? Coach Black obviously studied their previous games and learned their strategies. But what if he's done the same to us, Coach? Don't worry. I've developed two all-new, never-before-seen moves. If 
it's of the utmost importance that we keep them top secret. That means no talking about them. I don't even want you to think about them. Because the aliens can read our brainwaves, right? Focus on these moves, not UFO sightings. Got it? Got it, Coach. You'd think it was match day at the soccer sphere, but actually, Orion Stadium is now the world's newest alien sightings hotspot. Take me home, E.T. They live amongst us, man. The lights! They're coming for us! I'm now joined by Orion manager Coach Black, live from his observatory on top of the soccer sphere. Coach Black, what do you make of these so-called UFO sightings? <laughs> the lights are merely a beautiful cosmic ray shower. Ha. Huh. I bet his alien overlords told him to say that. Turn that thing off already. El Matador must go betty by. Your side destroyed Invincible United last week. Some people claim you were helped by, you know, these, these... Aliens? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> but seriously, my secret is just a uh, thorough preparation. Well, it seems like the sky's the limit for Orion. As for the UFOs, I'll leave that to the experts. The truth is totally out there, man. The lights! They're still coming for us! Why wouldn't they come to Earth? Huh? Who are you? We're a top secret organization of specialists. We search for and monitor alien activity on Earth. We're the first, second, middle, second last, and only line of defense. We are the National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ow! Ah. He always does this! The intention was for this to remain a clandestine operation, you dope! Sorry, guys. If it makes you feel any better, you put on a great show. Now, what do you guys want? We know you've been watching the lights of Orion footage. Of course. It's the most conclusive proof we are not alone. We're looking for someone who can find out the truth about the lights. Someone with access to the soccer sphere? We're looking for someone like you, Klaus. What? Me? An alien hunter? Ah, oh, I can't. What? what? Why not? We've got a big game coming up. I need to concentrate on our new... <gasps> Not meant to talk about them. <gasps> not even meant to think about them. Sorry, I'm not your guy. <gasps> I knew it! Crop circles! I told you guys there were aliens here. Oh, please. There is a perfectly rational explanation for this. Yep. I made them. Huh? <gasps> no wonder you wanted me to keep quiet about the aliens. You're one of them. There's no way I was going to teach you the top secret. You know what? Then practice them at Orion's home stadium the day before the game. So I created the most private training facility in town. This is the last time you're going to see these moves, so pay attention. No peeking, defenders. Hmm? We're going to test these moves on you guys. Move one uses the overlap to find space behind the defense. Ain't getting past us, bro. I know, but El Matador will. <laughs> Move two uses pace and passing to break through the opposition defense. Nice work, boys. You get all that? I may need you out there tomorrow. Yes, coach. There's no way Orion will see these moves coming.
Klaus, haven't you watched that video enough? Beauty sleep required. Where is your rational explanation for this cell matador? That is just, uh, Orion testing their floodlights. Floodlights coming from the sky? Well, it still makes more sense than aliens. If you're so sure about it, let's go find out. Reports are streaming in. It's happening again. That's not all. Klaus is on the move, heading right for the stadium. Ha! I knew he couldn't resist the search for the truth. Wait, we're tracking Klaus? <gasps> you guys never tell me anything. Yeah, that's because you tell your mom all our secret information. No, I don't. Hmm. Klaus seems to have activated the camera on his Digitab. I should be able to access the feed. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. Mom! You gotta see this! Oh, Super League legends sneaking around like grave robbers. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Klaus? Huh? Am I dreaming? Only if you are dreaming about how right I was. Hey, is it just me, or are these lights following a pattern? a pattern, yeah? Definitely a sign of intelligent life. <gasps> Match day. On form Orion, take on the mighty Super Strikers. Here at the Soccer Sphere, it's come one, come all for alien enthusiasts. Although someone needs to tell them they're here to watch the football, not the skies. One man who will definitely be keeping his eyes on the game is Orion's coach, Black, still in his observatory. Yes, Lina. From up here, I have a perfect view of the galaxy and what's happening on the pitch. Hmm. The lights, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they take your brain waves. Wow. I didn't know crazy was contagious. What's gotten into you, El Matador? What? There's something inside me? Ah, oh, they laid their alien eggs inside of me! Oh, get them out! Get them out! <laughs> Tell me, Klaus, where do you think El Matador got all these crazy ideas? You got to listen to me. The lights, they were... Say lights one more time. I dare you. As for you, I don't care if an alien invited you to a tea party. You're in the starting lineup. Game on! Super Strikers may be in good form, but they've never played against a team receiving help from out there. Oh, Mac, not you too. <laughs> I'm just getting into the spirit of things, Brenda. Super Strikers attack and attack. But Orion are way ahead of them. Almost as if they're getting help from... Don't you say it, Mac. Move one. 
daring pass from Dancing Rasta. They obviously practice that one in training. That Twisting Tiger's run straight into a dead end. Oh, no, he hasn't. Aha! Brilliant deception from Super Strikers. Wow, oh. heads up. <laughs> no way. Once again, Orion are just too good. How did Maida know? Last chance of the first half. Come on, dude. It's up to us. Okay, let's do it, Shakes. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> They're here. Aliens! <laughs> El Matador certainly keen to get back to the locker room. Maybe he needs the toilet. You. That was a close one. What? Coach! You can sub me, drop me from the team, make me wash everyone's dirty socks, but you have to listen to me about the lights. Ugh, fine. You have my attention. The lights I saw last night were tracing out the exact patterns of our secret moves. Even if I did believe you, how can you prove this? I recorded it all on my Digitab last night. But I dropped it. Face it, Klaus. You don't have proof because there's no such thing as aliens. <sighs> the truth is in here. What is this? National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division at your service. An ERD nerd? Really? What are you guys doing here? We've been trying to contact you, man. Uh, last night in the cornfield? That was you? You scared the pants off me. Why did you dress like that? Uh, why wouldn't we dress like this? There's something you all need to see. Klaus, we accessed the video you recorded on your Digitab last night. Well, I never. Klaus is right. Those lights are following the exact patterns of our moves. And check this out. Beta? So that's how Orion knew our first secret move. But where are the lights coming from? Please don't say aliens. The truth is actually up there. You can try any secret move you want, but you won't stand a chance against Orion. Because I have reached new heights of football excellence! <laughs> In space, no one can hear you laugh. So where's Coach Black? <laughs> Observe. He was up in space the whole time. After surveilling your moves from his space station, he traced them out with the lights, teaching his players how to counter them. And the UFO hysteria was the perfect cover-up. I knew there was something weird about those interviews. <laughs> <sighs> Klaus, you have great intuition, both on and off the pitch. I should have trusted you more. Uh, sorry to ruin the moment, but how's knowing this gonna help us in the second half? Yeah, we only have one move left, and you know the cat's out of the bag on that one. Well, Coach Black doesn't know that we are onto him. What are you thinking, Klaus? I have an idea for another new move. 
With the score still deadlocked, Coach is making his first substitution. Strange decision. Klaus hasn't been on the first team for ages. Ah, hello, Mr. Snooper Striker. You were terrified of the lights last night, but you're about to find out how scary they really are. <laughs> Move to brothers. Come on. <laughs> Just as expected. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Shakes to Twisting Tiger. Back to Shakes. Another failure. Orion saw the danger a mile away. Nowhere to go, Shakes. <laughs> huh? But Orion have left Klaus open in the middle. That's not move two. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus! Believer Brenda. No comment. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait, that means Super Strikers won, right? No idea. Yes! They won! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta call my mom! Yeah! yeah! Wow! Wow! <laughs> I hate them! I hate them! I... Self-destruct oh. mechanism activated. No! Yes, you have 20 seconds to enter the escape pod. Stupid ship! You have 10 seconds to enter the escape pod. Star. <laughs> Make a wish, bro. Ha, it already came true. V1. We're into the final few minutes at the cauldron. Super strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! <laughs> Feel the beauty! What? Matador was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get on to that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos. How confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. But I'm feeling up to the job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. 
Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where is he? I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Uh, hey, man. Still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, Coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa! Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, Coach. So, we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus Protocol. I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm. <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it! Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The Dory will get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor. A spaceship for ants. The world's smallest spotlight. A robotic homing pigeon. A Rubik's sphere. A gravity disruptor. VR projector. A trans-dimensional day spa. A silver snitch. A bright destroy. A Pokeball. Portable universe. Alien egg. Self-aware magic eight ball. <gasps> I have to know. Must find out what it does. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Too close. Shakes is right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah, where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Huh? Hmm. 
Where am I? Get El Matador back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. Activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes, the perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice, our king is here. Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! Ooh. He mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop! Mm. Come on, people! Ooh. Feel the duty? He's not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No! Oh, the team. Yeah! 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself. Yeah! Gotcha. My shirt! My glasses! My pants! My dignity! <laughs> Others challenge for an audience with the king. I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. <sighs> but I need the real El Matador. <laughs> Good luck, challengers! Come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! <laughs> El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best for me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Klaus! 
Yes. Thank goodness. Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey, El Matador. Oh, feel the duty? We are here to take our El Matador back to the present and the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? Huh? Get them! Yeah. Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your thoughts. It's in not a time machine? <laughs> Brilliant! The only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Well, it seems to be working. On all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space, and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, 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 I don't want to. Oh, crazy! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strikerland. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! 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 Striker Man! Yeah! Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos involved. Odd, though, that Coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough! De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Oh! Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Matador. Don't even say his name. 
I don't want to see any more of that guy. Yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. My people! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore me. Wonderful. Me. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give Mel Matador's locker? Oh, perfect! We even have the same number! Yeah, sounds yeah. good talking, bud. Unless you mind, El Matador. No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. <laughs> That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador. We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've <laughs> unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De La Santos. Klaus shoots. De La Santos saves. Sheik's latches onto the rebound. De Los Santos saves again. But, but here, here comes, comes El Matador. Matador. Oh, oh, oh. What a completely unorthodox move from El Matador. And he's back. Feel the beauty. <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> it's so ah, It's good to be me! Yes, yes. Come on, come on, huh? Oh, forget it! I'll get my fish from the supermarket! <laughs> 